Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make this slide design infographic. So let's first go into insert menu. First of all, let's change the background, change to gradient and change the blue path in the last one. Now let's go and make the shapes first. So for that, I'm going to make these two shapes first. I will go to insert, take a shape, rectangle. I will take one rectangle and make sure I will keep the same size from the previous diagram. So in this one, once you make one rectangle, you can copy that and paste so that you can have identical shapes. Now let's just remove the background, the outline, give them a different color. Let's say this time a little bit different, uh, orange and green from the previous one so that we can have a different perspective. Now copy these same shapes again and paste them. Now reduce the size. Now see the size. Uh, I'm going to check what size did I have before. I'm going to reduce the size first. And then I'm going to work on the other part later. I'm going to give an outline so that I know that I have to work on this part later. Now copy this part again and increase the height and make sure the height is same. So I will also increase the height for the other shape similar to the one I did for the green. Now once you're done with this, copy this one again, put it here. Make sure these ones are the same because you are going to give them a gradient shape and you are going to give them a shadow so that they look like they are a wall. Again, repeat the steps, copy the shapes and move them a bit away. So I just increase the width a little bit so that I can have more space for my text. Now I'm just going to see the size for this one, go to shape format and see the size and then make these size similar to that one. Increase the width and then copy these shapes again and then move them to the other side. Similarly, I'm going to check the height for this square and I will see that rectangle and I will increase the height for the rectangles. Now once I'm, I'm done with that, I increase the width, I will also increase the height and will use control and shift to make them adjacent and make them uh, proper aligned in the middle. Now press control and shift to copy this one and then move over there. Now again, check the size of these ones and then increase the uh, height for these ones accordingly. So right now I didn't do anything uh, for these ones because I don't need to. I will work on this part in the end. Now check the height for these blocks and then similarly again same steps increase the height for these rectangles similar to, similarly to the one that I did before. So now once we are done as you can see that they already have a, a gradient and you can see that the last one is the biggest one, the middle one is the smallest one and then the last one will have the mo most smallest size among all. So now I will reduce the size for this one as they look similar so I'm going to press Ctrl shift and drag it down and now I will work on this part. Now go to edit points and click on this point and extend it till here. Similarly, you are going to adjust it accordingly so that it will match corner to the corner. That means the corner of this shape will match to the corner of the rectangle on the right hand side. Because once you are doing this, it means that you are connecting two shapes and they are going to look like a similar shape. Now to keep it identical, I'm going to copy this shape and I'm going to uh, place it down, go to rotate and I'm going to flip it vertically. Now change the color and drag it down to the down part. Now similarly, I'm going to do it for the other parts also. Now once I'm done with this, I'm going to change them and give them a pattern fill so that they look like a wall instead of looking like some pattern. Right now just give them a dark color so that they can look like a shade. Later I'm going to work in the fill. Now press edit points and then drag this point up to the corner. And then the same steps, remove the outline, copy this shape and paste it here and then drag it down towards down and then do shift vertical and then you can drag it down, change its color and give them a different fill. Now you can see that we have identical shapes and already now you can see that these are now giving a shape a perspective of a um, kind of a stage that one step goes to the second one and then goes to the third one. These uh, infographics you can use for your diagrams and you can show a process or you can any show anything that you think can depict this kind of process. Now I'm just going to give them a different fill and see how it looks. Right now I'm just uh, looking at the overall per overall perspective of this image. It already gives an image uh, perspective that there is a stage and the steps are going from top to the bottom. Now everything is done, I'm trying to reduce the transparency for the main slide and I will copy the text from the previous slide to save time. All these icons will be provided in the description uh, box. Please do check the description box for the icons and I will also give a downloadable link for this file so you can easily download and do something. Now I'm just using these uh, text part so that I can uh, showcase my different sections. 
I've divided each stage in a different part, one for the text, one for the analytical graphs, and one for the analytical summary with the numbers, and one for the overall summary and with the years. I'm just changing the colors to see a different perspective, how does it look like. And uh, it's done almost, so I'm just going to change different colors and see different gradients. And I hope you guys learned something from this video and uh, I have also made previous infographic in my previous videos. If you haven't watched those and if you haven't watched the animation, do watch them. And do leave your leave a like and leave a comment so that I can know you are liking my videos. Till then, take care. Allah Hafiz.